Hi everybody, I'm the Krill and welcome back to Boogeyman. Now, I really enjoy playing this, so I'm gonna play it again. A friend told me about this Easter egg. Oh. Oh my god. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So if you click on the bear, the bear's nose enough times. Shows you an Easter egg. That's really insanely cool, actually. Uh, so yeah, Easter egg done and out of the way. Let's continue and head straight into night two, shall we? So, things I've learned about this game. Oh god, it's raining outside. That means it's probably going to be like harder for me to hear whereabouts is coming from. No, I don't like it when you have. Oh god. You know, the closet is only the second favorite place for the bogeyman. The second. What, what's the first? Under the bed. Everybody knows that. Let's hope we don't find him under the bed then, guys, eh? Oh, I caught you there. So, yeah. This game is really clever with the way that it, like, uses all of these different methods and means ha ah. oh I can hear him whispering at me and it's totally not cool Are you at though, bro? Are you at though? Ah, no, you don't. Let's look under the bed quickly. Oh, battery! Yes, and it's a blue one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I've learned that I need to stop being such a little girl. and learn to live without using the flashlight constantly. And as soon as I do manage to scare him off... <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically, anytime I manage to scare him off successfully, that's when I need to look immediately for another battery. I saw you there. I saw you moving. What time is it? Half two. Okay. Yeah, so we're not doing too bad. I mean, the adaptive uh, focus in this game really messes with you from time to time. Oh, I thought that was him. Yeah, it really messes with you from time to time. Oh! Noises just keep playing. That's probably never gonna stop creeping me out. I mean, the adaptive focus is weird, it messes with you, but at the same time, it's such a great mechanic. Like, you know. Ah, I know you don't. Whoa! Whoa! Not that again. But 
yeah, I mean, it's like if you do sit in the dark long enough, you start to realize that your eyes become a little bit more accustomed to the dark. And then when you see a light, you sort of, your eyes have to readjust for a moment. No, not the TV, not the TV. Oh god, I can't see a thing. Ah, no you don't. Okay, it's 420. 420 blazing. Yeah. I suppose the scariest thing about this game is how relatable it is. Oh, f fucking owl. Ah. Uh, I forgot what noise that was then. I mean, yeah, like, how many of us have actually been a night security watchman in a fast food place that has animatronics? Oh, oh, fuck. I know that I never have been. And, you know... We've all been children. We've all at some point or another been afraid of something. Oh, that monkey's going off. Oh, oh! No, you don't. I saw him then, though. He looked weird. Have I? I've done it. Boom. Boom. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stop recording here. Like, that's enough for this one. But I am going to immediately jump into the next night and the next episode. So, yeah. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I just realised I never finished that thought. Yeah, we've all been afraid of something, and it's understandable that, you know, as kids, we were afraid of, like, monsters and stuff like that, and it's like, the Boogeyman is a tale of a monster that, you know, preys on kids. So, yeah, I mean, this, this has a sort of relatable feature to it. I mean, I did just see the Boogeyman, and it looked weird. It's movement freaked me out. It was like a spider. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.